Hi everyone and welcome to my channel. Um, today I'm going to do a video of how I turned my desk area in my room into a Studio Ghibli aesthetic. I added a fake green plant wall. Uh -huh. um, you guys will see it, but it's like a mall wall. It's, you can see a little peek here, but I'm not going to show it yet because, you know, I want it to be a surprise. But this is one of my first YouTube videos, so I do hope you like it. I did put some previews on my TikTok, so if you want to follow me there, there you can see some of my other shorts and videos that I do. But the longer videos I will be posting here. So I do hope you enjoyed this video. It's a long process, so I don't want to take much of your time. So I'm going to like and show you guys. I did. <laughs> I do hope you like it, though. So I started setting up the space, I had to bring a ladder and I looked at the inspo that I had that I made myself to see where I would put the panels. My first idea was using double sided tape to stick the green grass in the wall and then cut the form, but that double sided tape did not work well at all. And since my desk is set up on the wall, I couldn't really do it there so i moved to my bed so as you can see i'm putting all the grass on my bed and setting it up in the form that i think it's gonna go i used some string that i had lying around to make the form that i wanted so that way i don't have to use a pen or anything like that and i did that before cutting just to make sure i got the shape that i wanted so i think this is like a great hack because that way you make sure that you don't have any mistakes so i make the shape that i want for my plant wall and then i'm gonna start cutting that shape as you can see here i'm cutting the shape but i am cutting it a little bit bigger than the string shape just so if i make any mistakes i can fix it so i think that's a good tip to keep in mind i do go back and forth for some pieces because they don't come out perfect the first time so go back and forth wherever whenever you need to Of course, the green wall is too long, so I did have to put a little ladder to make the right side, but I don't know, I just, I just winged it. And I just keep making the shape, making sure it's the shape that I want. I shed my inspo just to make sure it's good. And I keep adding the pieces that I need for the right side, so that's what you're gonna see in this next clips. Also, all the extra pieces I did save for some extras that I want to add, some little bit of pieces that could use some additional grass, so I kept that for that. Since I have my shape, I'm gonna go ahead and add my fake plants that I bought. I'm gonna link some similar ones on my Amazon storefront so you guys can make your own. And I did buy different ones just so it wouldn't look too of the same. So I did decide to put the plants first just so I didn't have to do it while it was on the wall. But I don't know if that was such a great idea because, well, you'll see why. But they kind of came off while I was trying to make, put it on the wall, but it worked at the end, so it's still fine. I do really love those fake plants and how they add some dimension to the green wall, just so it's not a basic green wall. So here it is, that's the final product. Now it's time to put it on the wall. Also, something that I forgot to record is that I did tie up all the grass squares together with some string just so they wouldn't fall off when I was placing it on the wall. I only recommend you doing this if you don't place the grass on the wall first. If you do it the way I did it, that's what I recommend. So for sticking the grass on the wall, I mentioned that the double-sided tape didn't work so I did buy a new tape, Gorilla Glue double-sided tape, which is way better 
and I did have to add some nails to the wall just because I couldn't glue it completely to the wall because I have a window so I did put some nails so it could hang from the nail too as you can see I try to do this by myself and I am really struggling I almost just destroyed my whole setup <laughs> it was a stressful time so I decided to remove some of the things from my setup and get some help so please get some help if you're small like me <laughs> so I had to call my mom for reinforcement and she's the one that helped me while I try to glue the thing on the wall you're gonna see me struggling a little bit on this whole part so this is kind of embarrassing <laughs> So now that I have it all set it up, I added the plants back to the wall, all the ones that fell off, and now I'm just cleaning up my desk and putting my, back my decor and stuff. I do have some real plants around my desk and some fake plants too because I do like plants. <laughs> so this is actually what it looks like at night. I do. I am thinking of adding some light maybe behind the grass wall or around it just so it doesn't look so dark at night but it looks so pretty I am getting the Ghibli vibes I don't know but I I love it honestly I love it so much okay guys so it's been like two days since i finished my green wall on my setup i'm gonna show you guys well you've seen it you've seen it <laughs> uh, but it does it has become unhooked from the wall so i'm gonna be retouching it and adding more hooks because the tape didn't work as well so i'll show you guys i'll i will show you guys now this is what I mean. I did use Gorilla double-sided clear tape and some double-sided tape I had, but it didn't stick very well, so it's coming off and I'm afraid it's gonna like crash on my real plants. So I'm gonna add some more hooks. This area is not too bad, but I still want it to be more, t more stuck to the wall, if you know what I mean. Because I don't like that it's like in the air because I want it to be more realistic and the curtain you know it doesn't help as much but there's not really much I can do about that since I don't have another wall I could put my setup in so yeah but it looks good for now what do you guys think look now what do you guys think look oh also I forgot to mention I am gonna be adding I think some flower hanging flowers because I feel like it needs a puff of color. Not that I don't like the green, I love it, but I feel like it's just pretty much the same color and you can't really see all the plants that it has. So I will be trying to get some flowers and adding them eventually. You know, um, things are gonna change a little bit, but it, it's gonna be the same idea, I feel. Also, these are the type of hooks that I'm gonna use. Um, I do not want to damage my wall too much since it's my parents' house and I'm going to be moving out soon. So I don't want to leave a lot of holes on their walls. So I know they're all a bit tiny, but they kind of work for the other areas. So I'm hoping they will work. Okay, so this is round two of trying to finish my wall. Since it was done, but it came unhooked, I'm going to add some new hooks so it doesn't come off the wall. Okay, so basically, um, this is what I added, just a little tiny hook to put the plants. Let's see if I can put it with one hand. I'm gonna try it. Okay. Well, maybe I put it in the wrong place. Damn. Okay, I'm not gonna show you guys because I can't put it with one hand. <laughs> so I randomly found this tape. So it's gonna help for the little edges that are not 
really to the wall and some little ties so I can tie it to the curtain rod and I think it's gonna be a whole lot better let's see let's see how it works You have to really push it so it sticks to the tape. Cause it's like it's like a weird texture. I think that's a trick. I hope it doesn't come off, but I think that's a trick. So I'm gonna put a little bit more. This tape, it's so weird because it's really sticky and the little paper that it has so the tape doesn't stick to the rest of the tape, it's so hard to get off but I'm hoping that that means that it's so sticky that it works, you know? Okay, so I think that's it. It's practically stuck to the wall. Um, I don't see any pieces that might fall off anytime soon. Like I said, I will be adding some flowers, maybe white, because I don't want too much color, but it's looking a little bit too green. But that's how it looks for now. Okay, so this is how it looks. This is how it turned out. I'm gonna show you guys a little bit of it from afar and some angles up close so you can see it. So basically we just bought some wall, fake wall grass and cut it up. We bought some fake plants to add some double-sided tape and some, um, what are the little things called? Hooks? Not hooks. You know what I mean. And that's practically it. I don't think I use anything more. Oh, oh yeah, I use some string to tie all the pieces together just in case. I'm sure this would... What are the little things called? Hooks? Not hooks. You know what I mean. And that's practically it. I don't think I use anything more. Oh, oh yeah, I use some string to tie all the pieces together just in case. I'm sure this would look great without the window like better so it doesn't get have the lighting coming from it but this is what i have for now and <laughs> so there it is my studio ghibli desk space <laughs> um let me know if you feel like it looks a little bit like studio ghibli because that's the vibe i wanted to go for i will be adding more things to my room to add to the studio ghibli aesthetic but that's the first piece and I love it. I'm honestly in love with it. And all the plants honestly make it look really good. I may add more. So I guess that's it guys. Thank you for watching this video. If you liked this video, please like and subscribe. Leave a comment telling me what you would like to see next. And if you like this, thank you guys. I love you Sprouts. Okay guys, so this is the end of the video and I just want to say thank you for watching. Um, I hope you liked this video and I will be doing more of this stuff. I will keep updating my room 
so make sure to subscribe to watch the rest of my videos and I don't know you know the drill if you like this video please like and subscribe and leave a comment telling me what you think of it <laughs> I guess that's it bye guys I love you